Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about who or what are you manifesting next into your love life. I'm gonna keep it reopen so everything is welcomed whether we get information about the person you're manifesting or the kind of relationship, anything regarding it is welcome today and let me zoom a little bit in because these cards are pretty small as always my dear I have three pals that you can choose from and you can either choose the card or the crystal below it so this is pal one with the knight of pentacles this is pal two with the page of wands and this is pal three with the nine of wands as always my dear Please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box but of course also in the comment section. And as always my dear, if you're interested or curious in a person or reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always you can feel free to email me. Lastly my dear, Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, Pal One, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see who or what are you manifesting next into your love life. First of all, my dear, I would like to get you guys some tarot cards. So let's see. For my beautiful pile one, who or what are you manifesting into your love life? Let's see. Who or what are you manifesting into your love life? My dear pile one, all right. The first card we have is the three of cups. For my beautiful pile one, we got the eight of cups as well. Who or what are you manifesting? The queen of wands. The seven of wands. Okay, interesting. Two times cups energy, two times wands energy here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We have the Four of Cups. My goodness. <laughs> All right. So two cards came through here. We have the King of Pentacles, the Strength card. And let's get you guys one last card. All right, and the Knight of Wands. At the back of the deck, we have the King of Wands. All right, so for my beautiful pile one, who or what are you manifesting into your love life? So first of all, my dear, let me start with this. I really feel like one thing that you've been feeling about your love life is definitely satis um, dissatisfaction, not satisfaction, um, dissatisfaction, even perhaps so boredom or disappointment even I'm getting here. Even if you've had people who, you know, were potential partners or people who wanted something from you, who were interested in you, I still feel like you weren't quite interested in them because it wasn't the kind of love or the kind of person that you were hoping for or that you would like to have as a partner. 
maybe their values didn't really match yours or the kind of relationship they wanted to have wasn't really what you wanted to have so there was this disconnect i get you could say and what i'm seeing here is that one thing you are manifesting into your love life is definitely this excitement <laughs> this excitement that you have been missing or this excitement that you haven't had in in those energies you know in the past and i really feel like something regarding your dating um life is coming through here and it's all about enjoying yourself having fun being in the moment celebrating the moment really and just going with the experience it's so interesting because i'm getting here a side-by-side -side comparison in a way so on one side there is this this boredom this satisfaction this disappointment that you have maybe experienced in your love life and then i see on the other side something completely different which is all about celebration enjoying yourself being happy having fun and really allowing yourself to just be your light-hearted self right and most importantly allowing your inner passion to come forward i really feel like my dear palwan you are someone who is full of passion you are such a ball of energy and when you are in a connection there is so so much intensity that comes from you and maybe that's also what you've been missing why you felt like your love life was a little bit disappointing because maybe you haven't met someone who you really were able to express the side of you with and um what i would like to say here is that i really feel like this next manifestation of yours regarding your love life is all about allowing this passionate side of you to come forward and almost like allowing this firework to come forward this firework within yourself regarding who you are manifesting i really feel like this person is someone who is a very independent person someone who is coming through as very stable and also a family oriented person someone who's coming off as very grounded as well and i feel like those qualities are actually things that you are searching for in a partner or things that you would like to have in a partner it's also very interesting to me here that what you're manifesting into your love life is also something which almost feels like a release a release of um, of what doesn't serve you regarding your love life and i feel like this is more so perhaps connected to your past but it could also be certain belief systems that you have regarding your love life so for example, what you may try to um, to change within you is those like self-limiting beliefs who, which for example say you're not good enough or you can't have this kind of a partner. You know, those belief systems that just tend to really make us feel small or take us down. I really feel like this is something that you're working on and also looking into this manifesting energy in order to manifest this wonderful energy it's all about growing beyond those like belief systems and seeing them as what they are illusion negative patterns that yeah have become a part of your of your mind because of maybe negative influence or things you see manipulation let's just take social media as a example right maybe you see certain people looking a certain way and you think only if you look this way you're good enough you know a lot of mind games 
And what I'm seeing here you do is saying goodbye to that. But of course, it's not as simple as that, right? I really see you paying attention to those thoughts and really asking yourself, are they actually true? Or have I been taught in a way to think this way? Why? Why shouldn't I be good enough? You know, like, where does, does this all come from? It's almost like you're you're really going towards like finding the root of this energy and I'm hearing it's all illusion, it's all illusion. So this could be something that you come to, a conclusion kind of, that all those things are are not even reality, but they have been holding you back. But I'm hearing no more, no more. So what you're manifesting into your love life here is definitely, I'm hearing, overcoming a huge obstacle. Something that some of you guys could have even, yeah, fought with for a very long time. But it's enough. Now, you deserve more. You've always deserved more. But it's kind of like now you you see through the veil in a way and i really would like to say coming back to the previous messages i got what you're manifesting into your love life is you being your expressive self and this expression coming through from your passion through seeing the beauty in yourself seeing how deserving you are and really allowing this fire within you to be, yeah, to be seen by a partner, by other people, and not holding back anymore. I really see you manifesting a version of yourself who's also very independent, but also very passionate about the kind of life they are creating for themselves. I really feel like my dear pile one, regarding who this is that you're manifesting into your love life, someone who will have your back, someone very, very loyal. Mm, with the strength card being here, there is literally an amount of strength coming through from this person. I am not getting any messages though how this strength energy is is expressed. I'm I'm just getting like literally strength as this card says. What is this about? Let me see. Can we get more information? Okay. Mm. So what I'm here yeah what I'm seeing here is I really feel like the strength that this body uh, not body that this person is embodying this way is is all about the the connection you guys also have you're manifesting a partner or you're manifesting a connection with someone who you can have a very strong bond with. A bond that's that's carrying a strength that, that outsiders can't interfere. I don't know why this energy is coming through. Maybe some of you guys have been... In the past, you experienced people who tried to be in your business kind of somehow but what i'm seeing here is that this is all about you not worrying about these things anymore those worries come from fear right and you don't want to allow fear energy into your love life you want to allow love energy into your love life 
and this is I feel like also why you're gonna release and this inner transformation is gonna be triggered within you because you don't want to to live out of fear or out of lack anymore because you know you deserve so 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 much more than that you deserve to live life from a place of abundance and from a place of love and this is something that you want to incorporate into your love life and of course as I always like to say it starts with us right and I really see you also coming back to the strength there is another element to it I really feel like another expression of the strength card energy is actually the strength we hold within ourself especially coming back to love energy towards the love we have towards ourselves right self-love and how healing the journey can be i really feel like my dear pile one a big reason as for why you are going towards this release journey is because you you understand how how important the self-love journey is and that it starts with you and that there is so much potential and strength within you and you don't want fear to block this away or f fear to to take this away from you you see the seven of wands and i really mean like the illustration here there is this person almost like stuck in total darkness but with their hands, they're pushing those the darkness almost like away, right? And we see all the light that's, yeah, that this person is allowing through pushing the darkness away. Let me see. I hope you guys can see it. Like, these are the arms and they're pushing it away. And then look at the colors. This is you. This is you pushing away all the negativity and the fear that you could have associated somehow with love because you know you deserve more you know you deserve so much so much better and you deserve to live a life especially love life wise of course where where love is guiding you right but i mean it's something which is not only um, limited to the love life but to your life in general right we always have to or we should better to say go with love let, let love guide us than um than fear and i really see you my dear pile one bringing a movement into your love life and definitely keep going keep manifesting because this energy is going to change so much in your life this is a transformation a transformation that you're bringing into your life and i just realized we have the queen and the king of wands here right so also regarding who you're manifesting someone who's like a counterpart someone who's very similar to you and what's important to you and isn't that something so wonderful to bring into your life but the message in here is very very clear first you become the queen of wands or the king of wands of course take it how it resonates and you will manifest the queen or the king of wands into your life as well so you know for yourself whether you are more in the feminine energy or in the masculine energy but i really feel like yeah you're you're bringing in this this compatible match to you this is how i would describe it but we've received a lot of messages regarding the journey towards it you know like what's gonna happen within you in order for you to manifest them in but this is great energy pal one this is great energy and one of the most beautiful things here is that i see you embracing your passion i see you 
expressing it, not holding back anymore, not allowing other people to shame you or anything like that. You allow yourself to be your authentic self and especially in love. You don't want to to compromise anymore when it comes to what you want which is also this excitement right in the beginning of the reading i talked about this this boredom this disappointing energy that i'm receiving from you maybe this is you compromising on things that you thought you had to say yes to because you couldn't you couldn't get more or you couldn't get better than that maybe in the past you compromised on a kind of love that you actually didn't want but you thought you didn't deserve more than that you didn't deserve better than that those energies are what you're releasing i'm hearing once again it's enough it's enough my dear this is almost like you telling it towards yourself. You're saying yes to, to what you deserve. And what you deserve is love, loyalty, passion, fun, stability, expression of the self, self-love. I love this pal so much. Oh my goodness. This is the first pile I'm recording, but I can already say that this is my favorite pile. <laughs> Such a wonderful energy. My dear pile one, this is all I have for you for today. Please, my dear, feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, my dear, if you're interested or curious in a person or reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would also like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My dear pal Juan, take care, my love. Hey pal 2, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see, who or what are you manifesting into your love life next? So, let's start for my beautiful pile. 2, who or what are you manifesting into your love life next? For my beautiful pile 2... Let's start, let's start. Too many. Who or what are you manifesting into your love life next? All right. You guys, you got the 10 of pentacles, like from the beginning, that's nice. The seven of pentacles as well. All right. The Wheel of Fortune. My goodness. The card ugh, flew there. We have the Eight of Cups. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So many cards. Too many, too many. From my beautiful pile two, who or what are you manifesting into your love life? The nine of pentacles with the ten of pentacles here. Wow. Ace of pentacles, a lot of pentacles energy here. For my beautiful pile two, who or what are you manifesting? We have the chariot card. Let's get you guys one last card. All 
All right. And we have the hanged man here. At the back of the deck, we have the three of wands. All right. So for my dear pile two, who or what are you manifesting into your life? Or better to say, into your love life. <laughs> so, the first thing I would like to talk about here is that I really feel like, my dear pal, too, what you're trying to manifest into your love life is something very, very, very serious. You are very sure about what kind of a relationship it is that you want in your life. And I really feel like you have been waiting a very, very long time for it now. You've been very patient. Um, patient, not patience. <laughs> You've been very patient. <laughs> because you have a vision of what it is that you want. And what it is that you want is definitely a very stable, very secure partnership. You're looking for a commitment in here. You're not looking for something casual. I really feel like, my dear pile, too, you're looking for the house, for the family, for the marriage, for example. Of course, take it how it resonates at the end of the day. This is a general reading, but that's definitely something I'm receiving here big time. And yeah, you've been waiting for the divine timing to come forward. Some of you guys, you could have even felt very, um, very lonely at times because you really wanted this energy to come through, but it didn't. And it really made you like think, will it ever come through? Will I ever find someone who, who I can have this commitment with, who I can have a secure relationship with? Will I ever get married? Thoughts like that. And what I would like to talk about here regarding who or what you're manifesting into your love life. First of all, I can't like... The pentacles energy is so, so dominating. And it's so bright. I love this energy so, so much. And it's interesting how for now, I almost like this spread here is... It's coming secondary because this spread, like those four cards, are so dominating. It's just, it's incredible. I really feel like my dear pile two, what you're manifesting is a successful relationship. What you're manifesting is a secure relationship. What you're manifesting is a relationship in which you can feel independent, but at the same time, feel the sense of union. <sighs> wow. This energy. Someone, you're manifesting someone into your life who you can create this with. Someone who is also committed when it comes to creating a harmonious space for yourself a comfy, a secure space. And it's so interesting to me here that this energy is all about abundance. You are manifesting a lot, a lot of abundance energy into your love life. You literally have the Ten of Pentacles and <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles is one of the most abundant cards in the tarot. And you even have it combined with the Nine of Pentacles, right? I mean, that's just incredible. <laughs> so, I really feel like my dear pile, too, as I said, there is also this, this family energy in here. You're manifesting someone that will fit beautifully into the family you already have. But also you guys perhaps creating a family of your own once again take it how it resonates but this is an energy i really feel like it's all about creating it's all about creation 
I really feel like someone you're manifesting into your life is someone who you can create a lot of things with. Although, of course, it doesn't have to be a literal, like a little um, birth creating a child it's, it can even be especially with so much pentacles energy being here you guys creating a financial mm, situation you could create a idea a business idea a project with each other it's all about coming together and through your energies, birthing something that is for the long run, something that almost like a tree. I mean, look at the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles has such a beautiful illustration in here, right? I mean, we can see there is like this little tree that is growing and there are the roots. And it's almost like this person is patiently waiting for it to, yeah, grow and grow, right? And I really feel like this is something you are also looking for or something you're manifesting. Someone that is going to also be very, very patient and willing to make this relationship grow or make this relationship go to the next level. Because I really feel like, my dear pile too, there is a lot of different goals you could say that you have regarding yeah what kind of relationship it is that you want to create and you would want to or you would like to find someone who can match your energy someone who maybe also has a lot of different visions or ideas that they would want to create in a partnership i really feel like my dear pal too also, you have the Page of Wands, so there is something about creative energy, creative energy that wants to be expressed, and I really feel like you and your, um, I was about to say future spouse, <laughs> you see some of you guys are, you're manifesting your future spouse, but I really feel like you and this person you're manifesting, you guys are bringing together a lot of creative energy that you want to express. Whether it's through a business idea, whether it's through creating your own family or some other way you want to make this energy come forward. This relationship is going to bring a lot of space for that. This These energies, like I also said this for pile one, these energies are incredible like I love this energy so so much it's full of abundance you guys I also feel like another thing you're trying to manifest into your love life is a new beginning very very simply said a new beginning whether it's a new beginning with a new person coming towards you in love or whether it's a new beginning with someone you already know but you're craving this this newness you know leaving what happened behind and just allowing new opportunities to come your way just allowing a new even you could say a new chapter in your life just to start without allowing distractions to be in your way I really feel like my dear pal too, it could also be the case though that when this manifestation of yours comes to life, when you bring it forward, that something regarding your, um, your career actually will also change or you will begin something new when it comes to your career because <laughs> there's something about finances in here for example some of you guys could go for an opportunity in your career or in your studies allowing almost like a um a change a, a change for some of you guys it could be a small change for others it could be bigger but 
I really feel like you guys, you're allowing new energy to come forward. And if it means to also leave your comfort zone, especially looking into the future, you're not going to be as frightened regarding that maybe as you used to be. Maybe in, maybe in the past, like leaving your comfort zone was actually something that, wow, it just left you very, very yeah scared maybe it was just something that you felt very very uncomfortable with but what i'm seeing here is that you're getting more and more open regarding leaving your comfort zone and also the wheel of fortune is a card that can literally represent positive changes so yeah you guys definitely get ready because i do feel like there are some changes coming your way not only when it comes to your love life but generally your life you know it's a general energy here and i do feel like it's something that you're yeah you want another thing i would like to talk about here is that what you're manifesting into your love life is also a version of you that is more confident that is more self-loving. Not to say that you're not already um, loving yourself or you're not already confident, but there is just something, there is a version of you. This can be, for example, your greatest version that you're trying to manifest into your life. And I really feel like you're working more and more towards it you're focused you're determined definitely keep going i really feel like my dear pile to even though this is a love life um reading <laughs> I'm also receiving a lot of positive energy when it comes to your career. By the way, you guys, if you're interested in a career reading, I haven't recorded one in such a long time. Please let me know. And let me know if you would like a Candlebacks version or a Tarot version. But I really feel drawn towards, yeah, recording one again. But coming back to this reading, I really feel like my dear pile to this focused energy this determination energy is not only when it comes to your love life but also when it comes to your career you're getting very focused because there is something a goal that you want to reach and you're working hard towards it and definitely the energy in here is all about stay motivated you know whether it's through um, certain practices you like to do or things you like to to listen to definitely stay motivated because there is so much you might be beautiful pal to can reach and can create for yourself i love this energy so so much <laughs> wow another thing i would like to talk about here um is that I really feel like some of you guys, it's either something you you may do right now or maybe something that you will do in the future more and more. You will take it more serious. You will take your emotional well-being more and more serious because, of course, all the areas in our life are interconnected, right? Whether it's our mind, our emotions, our physical body our energetical body it's all interconnected and if one of them is in a disbalance it will have an impact on the other areas as well but especially when it comes to the emotions what i really feel here is that um, you're putting more time into your healing journey you creating space for your healing journey and you didn't want to compromise on anything that's emotionally not 
not good for you anymore. You're putting your emotions first. You're putting yourself first. You're putting your well-being first. And I really feel like through putting yourself first like this, you, you actually trigger this change in a way. And also, I really feel like for you, my dear pile um, two, another thing that um yeah that you're that you're manifesting into your love life or better to say who you're manifesting is is someone who is also a little bit different from you not in the values or in the vision we already received that you know what they want is very similar to what you want i'm talking more so about perhaps certain physical traits or maybe even upbringing which is very a little bit different maybe even location could be different but some difference which you're going to experience but the hangman also being here i really feel like this difference is gonna make you get a new perspective or in a way expand your horizon also get a new view on things so there is a lot you're gonna also learn from those differences and let me see you know as the overall energy i have the three of wands here and the three of wands is a card or is the card better to say that i personally associate with manifestation so I really feel like my dear pile too, if you are manifesting right now, keep going because you are on the path, you are on the right path towards manifesting this energy. And one thing that you can do in order to yeah, support manifestation is definitely to you know, going back to the healing that I came through, if you feel like emotionally there could be some blockages, then definitely to give it the attention and the time and the healing that it needs and being gentle towards yourself, being kind towards yourself. That's also so, so important. This is a wonderful, wonderful reading. My dear pal too, this is all I have for you. I am not receiving any more messages. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you. And of course, for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, if you're interested or curious in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, my dear, of course, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. My wonderful pal to take care, my love. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see, who are you manifesting next into your love life or what are you manifesting into your love life? So... Let's start straight away for my beautiful pile three. Who or what are you manifesting into your love life? Let's see. For my beautiful pile three, who or what are you manifesting into your love life? All right. All right. Oh, not too many, too many. Who or what? The first card we have is the Empress. We got the Magician. All right. Let's continue. The Seven of Cups. For my beautiful pile three, 
We got the High Priestess. My goodness, one card. The Queen of Wands flew. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. A lot of cards. A lot of cards. We have the full card. The Temperance card. Let's get you guys one last card. And we have... Not too many. I know why so many cards come through together. Only one, please. Alright. And we have the King of Wands. At the back of the deck, we have the Queen of swords so for my dear pile three who or what are you manifesting into your life uh, to your love life better to say what do you need to know about that so first of all my dear i would like to to start with this I really feel like this person that you are manifesting into your love life is someone who you will feel very, very attracted towards. Someone who looks very good. And I mean, of course, I'm reading this from your energy. So you're going to see this person as someone who looks very good, very handsome, very beautiful, very gorgeous, um, someone who is very attractive, like they could literally have certain physical traits that you really, really love in a person or you find very attractive. Maybe some of you guys, you've even tried to manifest exactly that into, yeah, a partner. And this is why it's coming through. You're very specific when it comes to that this person is someone who okay I know that's very random but I'm seeing someone who has very beautiful soft skin also I heard kissable lips <laughs> and piercing eyes that's what I'm seeing here. Maybe for some of you guys, these are traits in particular that you uh, really, really in, like, like to have or you're trying to manifest. But yeah, that's something I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing a lot of fertility in your guys' energy, just so you guys know. I really feel like my, um, my dear pile three that this energy that you're trying to manifest is actually actually one that's not that mm, far away it doesn't feel like a lot of um slow moving like manifestation and another thing i would like to say regarding who this person is they are someone who Who I have to say, they're really like beautiful inside and out. They also have this this very inspirational side to them. They love to inspire others to become their greatest version, to believe in themselves. This person really likes to trigger great energy in other people as well. And I really feel like maybe this is something that you want to have in a partner. Maybe you really like to have someone who, who is positive, someone who has a very positive, yeah, view on life and... I really feel like this, yeah, <sighs> mm. excuse me, I'm receiving messages, I, I really feel like this is not only that um, 
Yeah, this is not only an energy that this person is in, this positive energy, but this is also this is also you. This is you becoming more positive when it comes to your love life. Maybe in the past you weren't that hopeful, but I really feel like you're getting more hopeful about your love life and you don't want to allow negativity to control your life anymore. And also, another thing I would like to mention here is that I really feel like you and this person, you guys have great communication. There is a lot of understanding within this connection. <coughs> Excuse me, my dear. <laughs> so there is a lot of um, understanding in this connection. And you're going to see this person being very willing someone like maybe some of you guys you have been in relationships in the past which were a little bit one-sided like maybe you were the one doing a lot um putting a lot of energy into it but the other person was a little bit passive or wasn't that devoted or wasn't really putting that much into the relationship as you were so you were giving more and you, were, you weren't receiving anything at all. And I really feel like this connection, it's all about equality. It's all about giving and receiving. I also feel like my dear pile three, it could be the case that you have to um, take some kind of a like leap of faith with the full card being here in order to to be with this person so i'm hearing don't think about it too much like when the right time comes you will understand but i see you yeah having trust and doing something doing something that maybe in the past you didn't think you would do for example let's say let's just say maybe you will relocate you will um, maybe travel alone, something that you maybe thought you would never do. Like something that is going to feel like you just going for it. But in a very positive way. And I also feel like it's going to help you to, to have more trust in yourself and have trust in, in life in general. Another thing I would like to say is that I really feel like when we talk about who this person is, they are someone who, who's very, or better to say, someone who has a very healing effect on you. Although I feel like this person could literally be a healer. Mm, maybe in their profession, but I mean it more so like as a spiritual gift. They are a healer and they have a great influence on other people. They can impact people really, really much in a very positive way. And when we talk about you and them, they're also gonna, gonna influence you in a very positive way. Maybe having conversations with them is gonna feel very healing. Maybe you feel like you can show parts of yourself that you may have never shared with anyone else and it feels very f freeing in a way i really feel like this next person like the person you're manifesting into your life is someone who will not judge you and in fact will will support you be who you are being your authentic self not pretending anything not being someone you're not just because society expects that or society likes that or you think that this is how you have to do in order to become this or that this person will really encourage you to to be you to be your authentic self and this is also going to be something that is going to feel so healing to be seen for who you are to be heard for who you are Okay, I would like to say one thing. This is the first pile that got this message, I believe, or 
okay, I'm not quite sure, but sometimes like because I'm so in the moment reading, I'm not even quite sure what I said in the other readings because it's just it's just such a wonderful like experience in the moment. But coming back to you guys, one thing I would like to say here is that I really feel like who you're manifesting into your life is a soulmate or even a twin flame. Of course, as always, take it how it resonates, but this is something I'm seeing here. And I really feel like your intuition is, is guiding you right now. Not only when it comes to your love life, but your life in general. Maybe you felt like your intuition is getting louder and louder and you can't push it away anymore. I'm hearing your intuition is showing you the way. Well, that's very interesting. I mean, of course, it's our own decision whether we want to, like it's our free will, whether we want to listen to our intuition or not. But what I'm seeing here is that you will. You will listen to your intuition more and more. And I actually feel like before meeting this person, a lot of things could happen regarding your spirituality. Maybe you feel drawn to step more into your spirituality or maybe you even experience a lot of crazy, I'm saying crazy things. When I say crazy, I mean maybe things that aren't perceived as normal. And yeah, for example, you could see certain things in your dream that happen the next day or happen somehow um, in the following days or maybe you even see some information regarding this person you really feel like you're actually connecting with them in the 5d um, some very interesting things and yeah for love you guys it could be even connected to your dream world because of course that's also one thing that the that the high priestess energy is connected to for me. Regarding who this person is, I really feel like they are someone who has um, some fire energy within them as well. And they're someone who who's very focused, very protective. Someone who could also be a great business person or they could have a great business mind like they're naturally really good at negotiating and yeah, there's something about this here this person could actually if they haven't done so far in the future start some kind of a yeah business idea for example let me see is there anything more? I'm actually I'm actually getting your spirit guides coming through here right now. And they want you to know that I'm hearing have trust in the journey. Trust yourself and trust life. Believe in yourself. Believe in the path you're on. And I'm hearing you're loved. Wow. <laughs> That's a very cute way to end this reading, I guess. My dear pile three, this is all I have for you for today. I guess today we have a short reading. So, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. As always, thank you so, so much for allowing me to read for you and for allowing me to connect with your wonderful energy. As always, my dear, if you're interested or curious in a person or reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, of course, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. 
My dear pile three, take care, my love.